I'm Mina. I'm Karen. Some people really just like the feel of an older home, but they do take a little bit more work. There's a way to find the gems and avoid some of the pitfalls. So when we buy an old house, what we're looking for is price and location. That's really when it. When we buy an old house, we do look for price and location, but we also typically look for the most decrepit one that no one else wants so we can make sure we get it. Get it? This is our wheelhouse, baby. This is it. I think what you want to pay the closest attention to is the big ticket items that, if they're bad, are really bad. That's not good. It looks like the wall just opened up for the floodgates <laughs> of mud. So the foundation, the roof, check framing for like any termite damage or rot, because that can get really expensive. Things that are kind of hard to tell, which are maybe if you have a water line. Because if you don't have a water line to this house any longer, for us here, it's like a 15 grand price tag. It's a big deal. So the things that are going to cost you a lot of money, make sure you can, to the best of your ability, know the answers before you get into the problem. We usually only look at two things, which is price and location. But I think most people, when they're looking to acquire an older home, they want a certain level of charm. So maybe some original woodwork that you can bring back to life, or original floors that you'll have the ability to sand down, or some nice pocket doors that maybe just need the hardware tweaked a little bit. We don't get a lot of those very often, at least where we work. But they're out there. We never have operating pocket doors. Those are the things that make hunting for an old home worth it and charming.